Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a simple high low card game for PC and mobile in Unity and welcome to episode 9. In this tutorial we're going to add in some background music and we're going to add in some sound effects to play whenever we have a card dealt or get it right or wrong. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. If you've enjoyed this series so far, please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you'll earn things like early access, exclusive content, project files and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So much in the same way as I did with the textures, a link to the audio files that we'll be using in this tutorial will be in the pinned comment below. So firstly, let's create a folder for audio down here in our assets section. So right click, create and folder. Let's call it audio and let's go into that folder. So I am going to bring in these four audio files. Remember, all you need to do is do the same as me drag and drop. Make sure you have unzipped those files though, because if you haven't, you won't be able to import them. So click that link to download them, unzip them, and then bring them into Unity. So we have the background music, we have uh, the correct sound, we have the deal card sound, and we also have the incorrect sound. So I'm just getting my headphones on so I can make sure that this is not going to be too loud for you guys. Um, Hopefully it won't be. So let's start with the background music. So let's go to our settings and let's right click, create empty, and let's create a bit of a tree going on here so we can keep things tidy. Let's rename this to audio. And then I'm going to hold control, press D to duplicate, and then drag that duplicate back into audio so it creates you can see a tree going all the way down. Let's have this as just simply BGM. So that's short for background music. We can drag and drop this BGM either on this section here or over here in the big empty space in the inspector panel. So let's just drag it there. You'll see all of this here. We don't need to worry about much of this, to be honest. A couple of things that we can play around with is play on awake, which will be, it starts whenever this object becomes active. So when we press play to start the game, it will indeed start playing. We also want to loop it so it plays constantly. And it's about 50 something seconds of a little tune that we'll play. Um, I am gonna change this volume down because I think it's fairly loud as we can probably see here, it does look quite loud. So I'm gonna change this to very low. So 0.05. I will get around to the pitch in just a second, but let's see how this currently sounds. Not sure whether that's gonna be loud for you guys, but we can play around with the pitch. Sounds crazy. So depending on how you want your background sound to play, so keeping it as one means it is standard. It's, it's as the file comes. If you have it as 1.5, obviously it's a higher pitch. It'll sound sped up, it'll sound higher. See? So I'm gonna keep it as one for now. So the other three audio files that we have are gonna be set up a little differently. The reason being is because those three audio files we only want to play at certain points in our game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control press D on BGM to duplicate. And then I'm going to drag the deal card sound over here to where it says high low BGM. So on the audio clip. So deal card, I'm going to untick play on awake and untick loop. I'm going to have the volume back as full and keep the pitch as one. Let's also rename this to deal card and let's duplicate one more time and one more time after that. So let's change the first duplicate to correct and the second duplicate to incorrect. Now you don't have to use the same audio files I do, they're just there for your convenience. You can use any that you want to, literally anything. If you don't want to use the same background music as me, you don't have to, you can change it. So let's change the deal card sound on correct to be 
the right one. And the same with incorrect. So we now have those audio files in place. But how do we make it so as when we press and we get a new card, we get the deal card sound? Well, that's actually really, really easy. And we can actually do the whole thing inside one single script. And that script is going to be the card control. So we need to set three more variables of a different type in here. So if we scroll to the top, <clears throat> let's set those three variables. The first one, public, audio source. <clears throat> My voice is going there. Audio source. And this one is going to be card deal. Next one, public, audio source. This one is going to be correct card. And then the last one, public, audio source, incorrect card. So those are the three audio sounds that we want to play at different times. So we now have to establish where and when we put the lines of code to activate those sounds. And you have to look at it logically and think, well, as soon as we press to guess high or low, this section here will run. So why don't we use this section here to play the card deal sound? Real easy. Let's do that. So card deal dot play, open close bracket and semicolon. And then that can be done as well down here. So every time we guess either high or low, that means that the card deal sound will play out. And the same thing will happen if we do, well, correct or incorrect. So we can say correct card dot play if we get it right up here. So as soon as we set this text active to say correct text, we will say correct card dot play, open close bracket with a semicolon. And let's copy that line of code and go to our other section. And let's now do the incorrect text. So incorrect card dot play. And down here, we need to have incorrect card dot play and save. So that will deal with the constant loop. The last thing we're going to need to do is the original deal card script. And if you remember, this is the big deal card button. So we do need to add it in here as well. The loop section is completely fine. We've just done all of that. We need to add it here as well. So public audio source, remember capital A, capital S, and we'll have this as deal card, which means that as soon as we press the button, we need to say deal card dot play, open close bracket, semicolon and save. So that's all there is to it. Those couple of lines of code will now make sound effects play whenever we do certain things. We just need to assign them to the correct scripts in our settings object. So let's go back into Unity. Let's go to our settings and let's find the correct scripts that we need. So we're going to need to deal with card control here. And let's close up those sections. And here you can see there are the three audio sounds. So deal card is that one. Correct card is that one. Incorrect card right there. And remember, we had one more inside deal card, which is that one there, which is also going to be that deal card sound effect. Let's save our scene and let's test this out. There we go. And let's go high. Cool. And low. Oh, we got it wrong. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, hi. Oh, let's see if we can change the deal card pitch to two. And let's see how that sounds. Okay, cool. Hi. Nice. Doing well. Hi. Okay, so we can see there everything is working as intended.
I cannot see any problem with that. It seems to be working quite well. So next tutorial, what I think we're going to do is, uh, I think I mentioned it last tutorial about the saving a high score. So we're going to delve a little bit more into the code and we're going to be able to save whatever high score we get. So if we get to three, for example, we want to be able to save that and display it maybe here somewhere, but we only want to overwrite it if we do indeed beat that high score. So that's going to require a little bit more programming. So until that next tutorial, which is going to be a lot of fun because it's always good to see, uh, you know, something to try and compete against to try and get that high score. So yeah, until that next tutorial, guys, keep refining, use whatever sounds you want to make it look as pretty or as ugly as you want to. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, guys.